Welcome to the Bourbon Friday Show. We're talking business and bourbon. I'm your host, Nick Niehaus, and today I'm really excited to be talking to Michael Seaman, who's the CEO of Swipe Sum. So, Ooh. Michael, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. Thank yeah, you so for we're, the we're drinking bourbon here, and I understand that this is from your homeland, so to speak, right? This is, this is a hometown. Very nice. So, so we're from middle of nowhere, Kentucky. Okay. Uh, we have a family business. Which, uh, which is a little rare for like tech startups. Yeah, you used to work with your brother, right? Yeah. Cool. And we actually have like the full fam- like we actually have full family. So we have cousins in the office. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, our like core investors are, are family. Very yeah. cool. That sounds like fun. I mean, do you, do you get along? I mean, I think working with family can be kind of controversial, but. It's, it's um, more positive than negative. Good. So a lot of the checks and balances that I feel like would come with any company or startup um, is natural when like the when your family's the core gotcha so like my secret weapon is Steve okay so he's our CEO he's my brother he's my older brother if he if if you ask him he'll say who's older yeah because he looks younger Um, but yeah, family business, man. Yeah, it can be it can be intense from what I understand. It sounds like fun. So tell me, I mean, let's, let's let's talk about what Swipe Sum does, right? Because that's obviously what we're here so for. We, so we, if you accept money, uh-huh. then typically with how money moves now, there's fees associated with moving money. Of course, yeah. Uh, so our goal is to act as an extension of uh, of any company. Okay. There's like a chief payments officer, mm-hmm. and then we're building software to. Um, accelerate and optimize what we do but realistically if you accept payments we try to minimize and eliminate any fees associated oh really okay and if you're a software company uh, which is a kind of like the second half of of our full uh, like core business um, we help start payments companies so oh, really? okay. so if you're a if you're a point of sale or if you're an e-commerce platform like Shopify and you have Shopify payments or if you're square uh, we help turn companies into payments companies. Oh, very cool. Okay. Yeah. Well, and so uh, did, do you do more than credit cards? I know you, you started out kind of focused on reducing credit card fees. Are you taking other types of transactions on? or? No. Um, we got to drink some bourbon. We got to drink some bourbon, yeah. Well, bourbon, we take a little bourbon, bourbon pause. Bourbon Friday, right? Saturday. That's the fun part of the show. So, yeah, so well, tell me about the process here, right? Because I think that... Um, this this can be a really big deal because I know that you know for for companies that take credit cards, you pay a lot of money just yep. to accept them, right? So people so the, don't realize that. The second highest this is this is silly. Yeah. But the second highest operating expense behind labor is uh, the fees associated with accepting payments. Really? Jeez. That's stupid. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Why why is that? Is there a good reason, or is that just yeah. how it's oh, always yeah. been? Oh, the banks. Yeah. Like in in like it's so lucrative and it's a side. Piece. It's like you're gonna accept a credit card. Here are the terms and conditions, and people just sign. Yeah. Um, and people as large as a 600 location franchise like just sign. Wow, really? Um, and so that's what that's what we do. So we step in to typically like um, we'll do any business. So anyone that likes to use swipe some to, to keep your money, we'll yeah. do that. Um, but it works better for like massive businesses or enterprise sure. accounts where we can come in and say hey for like two hours of work we can give you back a couple hundred thousand uh wow. in revenue really that much that's uh, well that I mean, much? obviously yeah. that volume right i mean if you're doing millions of dollars in transactions there's, there's yeah quite if you're a few talking about like a, a penny a transaction um they can add up for small businesses easily will like uh cut in half the fees associated that like really? that's very easy um but kind of where we are, so we're a young company, mm-hmm. and uh, it's totally free to use uh, to use swipe some. Cool, that's great. And we, I found a loophole in the agreements with the payments companies. Yeah. Um, and so we get paid by the payments companies as like a like a CPA or like a really like okay. a marketing lead. Oh, so we're a new sales channel. Um, so it's free for the business, but then they get the best deal. So it's like a win-win. And then that's one of our biggest struggles too, because it's like, why wouldn't everyone use this? Sure. Um, but classic startup struggles, you know, like where, 
Yeah, how do you, how do you get in front people? of people, right? Yeah. How do you get the word out there? Well, you come on the Bourbon Friday show. That's yes. One of, that's one of the steps you can take, right? So then we got to drink to then that. Then we got to drink a little more bourbon for that. What's that's the, what you're trying to do what's here. What's the you know, keyword? The keyword for, for drinking for the bourbon? I don't know. Probably like business or something. Every time you hear the word Swipe startup song? or business. Every I mean, time we, we say can, the name? We can use Swipe Bourbon today Fridays? if you want. <laughs> All right. Well, so <laughs> I want I want to ask you. You know, I want I want to move on from the specific business stuff in a second. But um, I think this is a like you said, it's such a significant cost for especially you know, any business, but small businesses don't even realize how much they get ripped off a lot of times. Yeah. And I used to sell credit card processing, and I distinctly remember you did? I did. When? Yeah. For for like three months right outside of college, it didn't last very long. Wash you? I think I straight did, into uh, credit cards. Sort of, sort of. It was kind of like a stopgap job, and you know, I, I, it was like a startup that never provided me any training, and yeah, I was trying to do B two B sales, and I've never I've never done it before, and I didn't know what the heck I was doing. Uh, but I do remember one of the few deals that we did, um, we cut somebody's rates in half. And it was crazy how much they were paying. It was like over 10% or something yeah. of every transaction. So it's just, just, just to take a payment as a credit card because, <coughs> you know, at least in my experience back then, like a lot of cases, different companies would just set whatever rates they wanted because you get the salesperson and then their company is a different company, the credit card company, and they're making a cut and all kinds of nonsense. So I sold for uh, WorldPay. WorldPay mm -hmm. is, is Vantive WorldPay. It's now like the largest provider globally. Um, and we went through training on how to hide margin into deals. Wow. Okay. And we went through training on how to like uh, win a negotiation, mm -hmm. which which you should do in business. I mean, that's you know we're working mm -hmm. to provide a service, whatever. Um, and that's tough. It's it, it's very um, it's not as lucrative, but it's very fulfilling when you can go to like a um, St. Louis start not even a startup st louis company that's been here for for a hundred years yeah two locations one location they have an iconic logo everyone knows it and you can walk in and say you know here's thirty thousand more dollars that you can keep but you don't have to change any process you just like sign a different agreement like nothing changes yeah wow um that's cool that is cool. So That's cool. obviously the important thing here is if somebody's out there and they're, they're starting to realize, oh, hey, I, I shouldn't be paying 8% fees or whatever it is on their credit cards. How do they get in touch? How do they sign up? What's the process look like? <clears throat> I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Good. Got to, got to call the action the, yeah, sales of call here. So um, our, our best account manager is here. Her name's Erin Rose. Mm -hmm. Email Erin. She'll take good care of you. Um, what is her email? Erin at swipesum.com. Erin? Erin Rose? Aaron Rose, there's no accent, but it's Aaron Rose at swipetone.com. <laughs> uh, but realistically, so we've tried to make the process, this is like our, our secret sauce. Okay. So you can do, anyone can do what Swipesome does. Sure. Like Nick has the brain power, clearly, to do oh, okay. everything we do. It would just take you like 14 months. Oh, wow. Okay. To be like a payments expert. Uh, go through the redlining process, spend the money, like, and get the best deal. So we automate that okay. with our software. So we have a statement reading uh, technology. Hmm. So you can download, like, your financial statements, and we'll click, quickly break out, like, true costs and, like, margin, negotiable oh, really? margin. So kind of show you the, the, the facts behind the it's numbers. It's, like, yeah. true facts, and then we're on your side. Like, we try to help you... Uh, not pay for the business, but you have to pay to sure. do you something. You pay something for a service, yeah. of course, right? And so, uh, realistically, people go to swipesum.com, um, go through a quick consultation. Uh, on average, it takes about three minutes and 14 seconds. Wow. 314, I like 314. <laughs> oh, that, I've never realized that. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, you can use that in your yes. marketing. <laughs> Uh, it was 317, and we took some questions out. It's now 314. All right. Um, that's funny. <laughs> so you, you you just explain how you accept payments. So you say okay. your software, uh, your e-commerce platform, uh, your accounting provider, and then we'll curate the providers that are a direct integration. Okay. And then we make them compete on price. So oh. you literally end up with, like, the best solution provider at the lowest rate. That's awesome. Very cool. All right. Well, easy enough. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Well, so I want to take, we got some time People left. I want, to, I want to move on a little bit from the specifics of what your business does and talk about the fact that um, you guys moved to St. Louis because of Arch France and you were recently the MC of the Arch France yes. Gala, right? Yeah. So how was that? That was just uh, like that a week epic. or two ago, right? Yeah. yeah. 
that was like the one of the first times in my life I've been like strangely like uh, nervous in yeah, front of a well, huge bet, crowd. Right? Dude, there's like, a thousand people there. Yeah, it's a huge deal. <laughs> yeah, and and uh, I finished. So you we they gave me uh, ten minutes. Okay. We only used six. Okay. So that's like a key. Like never use the full allotted time. You sound better if you say less. That's a good point. And then we made half of it as a video. If you don't do video marketing, you should spend all your money on video marketing. You should. But, that's a good idea. <laughs> but so we spent the first three minutes uh, in, in fully produced like a great video. It yeah, kind of told the story. Oh, that's good. So it, it told like our swipe some St. Louis story. Mm -hmm. It's not a success story. Like um, you're always encouraged as a founder and is everyone that you'll interview to be like uber successful and always overachieving right. and that's just not the truth like mm -hmm. we go through fucking high, sorry highs and lows it's, it's okay it's an internet show you know you can internet. say whatever you want <laughs> and um and it's not always great so we've had bad days of course, we've had, yeah. so we just told our regular story and we're growing we're hiring people here um the culture of st louis mm -hmm. the talent that's here with wash U and SLU and like a young talent that wants something to do but they want to stay close to family and they don't want to go to Chicago or LA and sure. like we have a good talent base. And then the strange thing that no one like talks about but the pride that people have for St. Louis. Yeah. Like you probably love toasted wraps. I do, I mean yeah, I don't know many people that don't. And emos, you know? yeah. and exactly, like you're like, who doesn't love toast? I've never right. heard of toasted wraps until this year. Until, yeah, we're like really, I don't know that. So you got here, yeah. I don't know if they make them any other places. No, you know? they don't. It's like, and so, like the move to St. Louis was, um, it started as more of a marketing role. Mm -hmm. well, cheers on that. Mm -hmm. Of course. <clears throat> but it's actually real. So the catalyst of our success, and I can be confident in being like we're successful now. Yeah. But we've grown from two people. To 15 people in wow. about 14 months. That's incredible. Yeah. And we make money. Good. So we're not. Yeah, a lot of startups don't, don't do that, right? We, we <laughs> actually make money. That's good. Uh, and we're right on the borderline where it's. But like St. Louis is the catalyst for the success. And That's awesome. Arch Grants, um, I think a big promise that we had with Arch Grants was that you'll get uh, a grant that's non dilutable. Mm -hmm. um, but then you have like auxiliary support. Yeah. And you'll get legal services and accounting. And a lot of it's for sales. Like you know that because it's mm -hmm. easy to write a check. Sure. But the strange thing in St. Louis and even like we know each other before sitting here talking together like sure. <clears throat> it's a strange place where people actually help each other. Um to like do introductions and like actually yeah. like do real business in St. Louis. There's a guy named Alfred that works for St. Louis. Mm -hmm. Like he he might as well be an employee for us. Like really does introductions and strategic inter like um, it's real. Yeah. So so the big thing uh, and what I was very proud of with with uh, Gala and being the MC mm -hmm. was like extremely grateful for the generosity. Mm -hmm. You have billionaires in the room. 10 uh, plus billionaires like that's oh, crazy wow, really? in the okay. room hmm. so thankful like the the generosity is historic yeah like it's great like it's historic uh, but now we need to ask for the confidence to do business with with the our trans companies okay and so that's the big takeaway is like um, a 50k grant and a pat on the back, Matta boy is great. Sure. Um, same with any group around here. Same with the the Bourbon Friday show. Like people should watch this, but then should actually engage. Mm -hmm. um, like reach out to Nick, buy something. Yeah, please. <laughs> but but like that's the big takeaway. But if you if we can get the confidence from the people that are writing the million dollar checks mm -hmm. to do business with the startup, then they're successful. Like gotcha. they can pay their employees. 
they, they have the revenue. Like yeah. you have to have the revenue. Or Funding's else. one thing, but yeah, the re revenue yeah. is the is the crucial component, yeah. right? Or else you don't have a business. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what all we're all about here too. Is you know we're trying to tell the story of all these amazing companies that are coming out of St. Louis and especially downtown. And I think it's great to, to have people see that. Well, I see. Yeah, I see you need a refill. So we can, we'll use that as our transition <laughs> moment here. We're gonna make sure Eric joins us. And so Eric is the founder here. He's the guy who created. So, so creator, founder, whatever term you like, but yes. he's gonna tell us why we're drinking this particular Most bourbon handsome as, man at the long table. as he tops us off here. So that small town in Kentucky you were mentioning uh, is named Bardstown. Bardstown, Kentucky. It is the bourbon capital of the world is the claim to fame. It is. Wow. So I bought this bottle a few months ago because it's pretty hard to come by. Uh, this is Elijah Craig, Elijah Craig Bear Proof. Yeah. It is also from Barstown. It is made by Heaven Hill. Uh, so this was... Which Heaven Hill is, is like a unique takeaway from Barstown. Because they make so much more than people know. They do. They make everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah, so brought this on. If people don't know anything about Elijah Craig and the sort of myth around him, he gets the credit somewhat for introducing charred barrels to Burp. Oh, so he, I didn't know that. Yeah, so whether or not that's true, there are a lot of other people around that time making very similar spirits, but he gets credit for introducing charred barrels, which is what makes bourbon bourbon. Yeah. Hmm. Or besides the corn, of course. Very cool. So then the charred barrels, through the seasons, mm -hmm. you got like a pulsing effect. Yep. So what's the, the main takeaway with like he introduced it? Is there so, like something? So, I mean, the charred barrel is what... Well, gives bourbon its flavor right it's a new charred oak yeah. charred oak barrel so that char is where all of these different um, flavoring agents inside of the oak are being released mm -hmm. so the new make gets put in the barrel and then ages and pulls all of that those flavors in and out of the barrel <coughs> delicious it's good stuff yeah and it's uh it's a little bit on the strong side it's yeah, always fun it's on the know? strong side this is uh, 122. Yeah. yeah that's a this one's, you know, it's got a little little kick to it. This we'll is say. a lot, of, like I said, this 122 is all... proof. Yep. Yeah. Proof that it's real. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you know it's good, right? So right. we've got you got to earn the right to sell something uh -huh. by using proof. There you go. There you cheers. go. All right. Cheers. Enjoy cheers it, right? Cheers. <laughs> so, all right, Eric, we got a minute or two. We got any more any <laughs> you good bet. events coming you up? Bet. Uh, so there's quite a bit going on next week. Uh, right out. The gate. I just want to mention that Stadia Accelerator applications are due on November 24th. And then on Monday, there is Pitch for St. Louis at Innovation Hall. I think you're pitching there. Big fan of Autobahn Associates. There you go. And so early stage startups, there's going to be 10 startups. They're going to select five, and then I think there's a wild card based upon the pitch and, hmm. and all of that. Cool. Then also, do, you know, do you know Autobahn? Do you know the, do the group? Dude, they're stellar. Yeah, good group of people. Got another people. All right, all right. Yeah. Good then sorry, cut off the announcement. You're you're all right. Yeah. Uh, STL Tech is a talent job fair at T Rex also on Monday. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're looking for a job in tech, that's where you should be. Yeah. On Tuesday, we are actually going to be at Venture Cafe 39 North that's right. at yep. Dan Danforth Center. There is the Art of Alcohol event. Mm -hmm. We Bourbon Friday show is going to be yes. recording live. Uh, you'll also have a chance in between our breaks and after the actual recording to come and talk to me about perhaps being on the show. Oh, okay. A couple tips for that. Be able to describe your business in 10 words or less because a lot of founders cannot. Yeah. How, how, I don't know if I could. could. Could you do 10 words? Sure. You help companies reduce credit card fees. There you go. So higher. More yeah. free marketing so, for you. <laughs> video marketing builds websites. You know, it, yeah. it, it is not. I think it should be three, but ten is fine. Yeah. Uh, and then also be able to tell me why you're, you and your business is unique. What major accomplishments accomplishments you've had, and also maybe if you have something timely, mm -hmm. that also helps a lot as well. Also on Tuesday there is the nonprofit connection out here at Trust at Kobo. That's going to be put on by Giveable. This is a networking and learning opportunity for sort of the nonprofits in the region. Giveable is killing it. Giveable is great. Sure. Yeah. So on 
Wednesday, All in Women in Business Women Entrepreneurs event is at T-Rex. There's going to be a panel which is featuring Homeworks, Artie Fox, Mighty Cricket, Sparrow Labs, and Rozzy. Have you had their pancakes? I have. The Mighty uh, Cricket yes, pancakes? Yeah. yeah, Sarah's been on the show. and we so did the, the Cricket waffles. Challenge last month. Yes. <clears throat> I've, I have not participated in any Cricket Challenge. No. But, no. but... I bought the legit powder, uh -huh. so you gotta you gotta like support the mm -hmm. companies that are here. Of course, keep of course. your money in St. Louis. Keep yep. it SDL. Kelsey and my baby. I have a one-year-old baby. They don't know this, but she's <laughs> right behind the camera. Um, Kelsey had cricket pancakes last week, uh. and had no idea and loved them. Okay. So the, the takeaway was like, oh, it's crickets. No. Hey, when they eat them with butter and a little bit of sugar gravy, yeah. they love it. They That's love good it. stuff. And you can eat crickets. There you go. <laughs> and then Wednesday night, we literally just talked about Mighty Cricket. She's going to be hosting Hoppy Hour right Hoppy here, hour. right out here at Trust. <laughs> There's an entomology uh, conference here in town. So. Oh, really? Okay. So definitely check that out on Thursday, Venture Cafe, of course. Uh, highlight from that are new uses for old things. Uh, Wash U discovered this enzyme that, like, this ancient enzyme that will actually help in, um, help treat Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. No really? way. Yeah. Wow. So that, that is super <laughs> interesting. And then yeah. Friday, we're back here at Kobo for another great Bourbon Friday. For more bourbon. More course, bourbon. Yeah. And we're going to have Raj, Raj Singh, yes. the uh, CEO and founder of Connexio, recent Arch Grants winner. Say, yeah, they were fun. Uh, and what that is, is it is a personalized AI-driven virtual advisor for international students. Yes. Hmm. And so definitely come and check that out. If you know, you know, people. Raj is cool. Raj is great. Yeah. He's cool. Yeah, we, we both, you know, work out at T-Rex and we talk every day. So yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, sounds a lot of good stuff coming up next week. Well, as always, Eric, thank you so much for the event and the bourbon. Good stuff this week. Should Michael, we cheers, of should course, we cheers you know, to that? Got to finish off our bourbon, of course, right? I was hoping it was going to be like a drunk history. Yeah, we got to drink a, a lot but ahead we didn't of the get show. Well, I mean. Yeah, I mean, we, we, can, we can record something in another 30 minutes. <laughs> we'll and that might look, that might look like drunk history at that point. <laughs> um, but for those of you tuning in, we do want to thank you for watching. As always, this is the Bourbon Friday Show here at Kovo. So we want to thank Kovo for hosting us. As always, thank you to EQ for helping us distribute the show and providing us your audience. Oh, good and thank you to good both people. Vanessa Lobo and Ian Brown who teamed up to produce the show today. We really appreciate all your hard work. Thanks for watching the Bourbon Friday show. And please join us again next Friday. We'll see you then. Cheers. 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 There you go. Hey, thanks for watching. We truly hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this episode. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. To stay up to date, Follow us on social. We are at Bourbon Fridays on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and TikTok. See you next time.